गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड स्टेइंग होम टू कीप योर सेल्फ सेफ फ्रॉम कोविड 19 स्टूडेंट्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर 1 ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स सो लेट अस बिगिन स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर डेवलपमेंट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ द इकोनॉमिक्स in your syllabus is development so the idea of development or progress has always been with us we have aspiration aspiration means goals or desire about what we would like to do and how we would like to live so all these aspiration desire we have similarly we have ideas about what a country should be like we have that idea also ki we that our country should be like what so what are the essential things that are that we require can life be better for all how should people live together can there be more equality development involve thinking about these questions and about the ways in which we can work together achieving these goals this is a complex task and in this chapter we shall make a beginning at understanding development that what is development also you will find answer to many of these questions not just in economics but also in your course in history and political science so in these different part of social science these answers you will get there also this is because the way we live today is influenced by the past and we cannot desire for change without being aware of this unless we know about our past we cannot think about change in the same way it is only through a democratic political process that these hopes and possibilities can be achieved in real life so these are only possible through the democratic political process which we have in our country and that will be achieved in our life different people have different developmental goals are different people different developmental goals here some examples are given as per your textbook category of person developmental goals aspiration here first example is taken of landless rural laborer more days of work and better wages a landless laborer thinks about more days of work and better wages or you can say regular work or more days of work local school is able to provide quality education for their children and there is no social discrimination they too can become leader in the village so such aspiration can be of landless rural laborer similarly prosperous farmer from punjab what this person is thinking or having desire or aspirations assured a high family income through higher support prices as we know that uh, punjab is famous for food grain production so if a rich farmer is there prosperous farmer is there then of course he would be having a good part of land and growing <coughs> food grain so on that basis expecting higher support prices for their crops and through hard working and cheap laborers they should be able to settle their children abroad so whatever earning is coming from these farming activity by using that they want that their children should settle in abroad farmer who depend 
only on rain for growing crops so such farmers can have what kind of aspirations tubes to be dug and canals to be made for irrigation on rain for growing crops higher support prices for crops as these farmers are also growing crops so they also think about higher support prices support price means that minimum support price which is announced by the government for the farmer as initiative or incentive to them so that they can continue the production of crops availability of hard working and cheap laborer so as farmers depend on rain but having the plots of land to do agriculture maybe hiring the laborers also so they also want cheap labor better education facility for their children so such aspiration they can have a rural woman from a land owning family education of her children in english medium school of course land owning family is there then prosperous family so they may be thinking that their student their children should study in english medium school more earning from land by giving it on rent so as they are land owners so they would be expecting that they can get higher rent by giving their land to on rent urban unemployed youth what can be aspiration of such people more opportunity for higher education a permanent white collar job means that government job having a self own home to live in so such kind of people who are unemployed expecting after getting education a permanent job government job usually having a self own home to live in similarly a boy from a rich urban family what can have aspirations goals should be allowed to decide his career whether to go into business pursue higher studies abroad have his own car house to live so as they are belonging to their boy is belonging to rich urban family so having the goals according to his living conditions he want choice whether to choose a business or any other career pursue studies abroad getting education abroad and want a car or house to live in similarly a girl from a rich urban family she also may be thinking similar to that boy only she gets as much freedom as brother and is able to decide what she want to do in life she is able to pursue her studies abroad similar to boy the girl also or wishing to have such aspirations goals and adivasi from a narmada valley region so what can be expectation of such people no social discrimination as uh, they belongs to adivasi races school education for children they want all year round development all year round employment one year means uh, employment should be for whole year pds ration shop in the village usually you know that in the adivasi region that pds ration shop hardly used to be so they want such facility in that areas also now do all these persons have the same notion of development if you 
as you saw in the table ki all these people don't have same notion of development same goal of development they don't have or progress they don't want similar progress they want different types of progress most likely not each one of them seeking different thing they seek things that are most important for them that which can fulfill their aspirations or desires in fact at times two person or group of person may seek things which are conflicting conflicting means one's thinking may adversely affect the another one as he are given a girl expects as much freedom as opportunity as his, her brother and that he also shares in his in the household work means the girl is expecting the freedom opportunity as his brother is having and the brother should also share in the household work as he contribute her brother may not like this there may be conflict this is the concept of conflict similarly to get more electricity industries may want more dams as the dams are helping for producing hydroelectricity so the industries may want industrialists may want more dams but this may submerge the land and disrupt the life of people who are displaced from that area and such as tribal people they might resent this they don't want like this and may prefer small check dams and tanks to irrigate their land as they want water for irrigation so they may have aspiration having like check dams or small dams which can store water and can provide water for irrigation but they don't want that big dams which replace the people living in that area and cause destruction of their built houses and the land property so the two things are quite clear one different person can have different developmental goals and second one is what may be developmental for one may not be development for other so this is concept is a conflict of developmental goal it may even destructive for others means destructive is the conflict they may vary may not affect each other but they may affect each other as destructive also so that is conflicting developmental goals income and other goals along with these uh, income people think people have some other goals also here in this slide we are discussing that one you will notice one common thing in the table 1.1 ki what people desire are regular work better wages decent price for their crops and other products they produce in other words they want more income besides seeking more income one way or other people also seek things like equal treatment freedom security respect of others they resent discrimination means they don't want this discrimination they become unhappy because of discrimination so all these are important goals not only that income these are also part of our developmental goals in fact in some cases these may be more important than more income or more consumption because material goods are not all that you need to live so only income and material goods are not enough for our survival there 
our number of things in our life which are required which we require along with our income and other physical requirements so money or material things that one can buy with it is one factor on which our life depends but the quality of our life also depend on non material things mentioned above that these are the equal treatment freedom security and respect of others if it is not obvious to you then just think of role of your friend in your life if you don't understand this point that uh, people need equal treatment freedom security and respect of others then you think about your friend in your life how your friend is important in your life does your friend demand any payment for his different kinds of help to you or do you demand any kind of payment for the different types of helps you do to your friend so many desires may you may desire their friendship you need their friendship and you cannot buy that friendship by money similarly there are many things that are not easily measured but they mean a lot to our lives these are often ignored however it will be wrong to conclude that what can not be measured is not important it is not correct there are number th- number of things in our life which are not which cannot be measured but that are very important for our life consider another example if you get a job in a far off place before accepting it you would try to consider many factors apart from income such as facility for your family working atmosphere and opportunity to learn opportunity to grow opportunity to develop opportunity of improvement in that uh, job only so all these factors we consider which are other than the job or the income in another another case a job may give you less pay but you that pay so that may offer regular employment that enhance your sense of security another job however may offer high pay but job security also leave no time for your family means one job is having lesser payment but regular employment sense of security regular employment sense of security and less pay but the second job is having high pay no job security and no time for your family so in whichever these means these different two conditions which one you will prefer so this will reduce your sense of security and freedom and that way you may be preferring this first one similarly for development people look at a mix of goals it is true that if women are engaged in paid work their dignity in household work and society increases however it is also the case that if there is respect for women there would be more sharing of housework and a greater acceptance of women of working outside so both are possible ki if women are getting engaged in paid work so they are getting dignity and respect in society but if as a housewife 
दे आर गिवन रेस्पेक्ट एंड मेंबर्स फैमिली मेंबर्स शेयर हाउस होल्ड वर्क देन ग्रेटर एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ वोमेन वर्किंग मीन्स विल बी देयर आउटसाइड a safe and secure environment may allow more women to take up a variety of jobs and run a business so whatever dependency of that woman is there over the male parts that will of course will decrease reduce hence the developmental goal that people have are not only about better income but also about other important things in life as here you saw in the condition of women okay, that safe and secure environment for women if as we have seen above individuals seek different development different goals then their notion of national development is also likely to be different they may not be thinking similar for their own country the different people the different people may be thinking a different kind of developmental goal for their country so you can discuss these points among your friends also and most likely you would find that different students have different developmental goals so this was all about the students now let us discuss the homework for today question is from your textbook only that after completing these topics afterward these uh, activity work is given so you have to do these one so why do different people have different notion of development we saw in this module which of the following explanation is more important and why by selecting one of these two you have to explanation of this to why you are choosing this one suppose because people are different or because life situation and persons are different so which one you uh, you are choosing you have to explain that also to why you chose this one do the following two sentence statements mean the same justify your answer people have different developmental goal people have conflicting developmental goal so these are same also because uh, conflicting developmental goal also different and uh, different developmental goal is it, it is different but you have to explain both the condition ki when there is different developmental goals they may have different developmental goals not affecting each other but conflicting developmental goal of course affecting each others adversely affecting each others like increase of wages of laborers is good for the laborers but not good for the people who hire these laborers not good for the owner where they do work give some examples where factors other than income are important aspects of our life as in that different uh, previous to slide sec last second slide we discussed the non money materials non material things are also important in our life that you have to explain in this questions answer so here these three questions you have to do for today students and try to complete this today only don't leave the work for next day and uh, as tomorrow is sunday so that time should be used for revision not for completing homework Com homework completion should be the same day it should not be left for next day okay students this was all about today's topic we'll meet in the next module till then thank you bye bye